One of the most important elements to every hydronic heating system is its thermostat. A high efficiency, low mass boiler will modulate between a low temperature and a high temperature, monitoring the system to determine when to initiate a call for heat. When the water inside your buffer tank cools to that low limit, your boiler will fire up, modulating the flame in an effort to reheat the water in the tank. In a similar fashion, when the water temperature hits its high limit, the boiler will shut off. All of this begs the question, how do you gauge the temperature inside your buffer tank? As you might expect, there are a number of methods that'll do the job. Some, of course, are more reliable than others. So let's take a minute to gauge each method's reliability. The first method is to strap a surface mount temperature sensor to one of the pipes running to your boiler. This method gauges the temperature in your tank based on how hot or cold your pipe gets. A number of contractors and consumers use this method because it's relatively inexpensive or simply because it's the only reasonable option based on the application they're dealing with. Unfortunately, it yields inaccurate results with a window of failure of, get this, up to 15 to 20 degrees. Go ahead, you can say it, that is appalling. Such inaccuracies will most certainly lead to unnecessary costs, costs that you should not have to incur. Method number two is more accurate than number one, but accuracy and reliability are two completely different things. This method has you installing a wet well. A wet well places the thermostat directly into the stream of water inside your buffer tank, which in theory is the place you want to be if you want to take the most accurate temperature readings. The problem with a wet well is the fact that it's a recipe for electrolysis. That basically means your thermostat is going to decompose over time because it possesses an electric current and is directly exposed to water. Beyond that, servicing a wet well can be a nightmare because inevitably it requires draining the tank. And draining the tank means you have to refill the tank, which, unless you have a boiler buddy, can be a hassle in and of itself. The best way to go about gauging your tank's temperature is method number three, installing not a wet well, but a dry well. With a dry well, you get to enjoy the same accurate readings as with a wet well, but with the threat of electrolysis completely removed. Because instead of direct exposure to water, the sensor sits inside a sealed slot or well that extends into the tank. Electrolysis is a non-issue and serviceability is a cinch. Naturally, our Boiler Buddy features a dry well, a recessed aquastat control well to be exact. But it's not just an aquastat control well, it's a solid brass aquastat control well. We chose to include it as part of our factory installation because it delivers unquestionable accuracy, superior design, and it's compatible with standard mechanical thermostats, as well as modern sophisticated ones. The Aquastat works well, exceptionally well, with either. And speaking of exceptional, Boiler Buddy's closed cell polyurethane foam insulation helps keep the water temperature inside the tank as consistent as possible. This decreases off-cycle losses to less than a half degree per hour meaning you'll steer clear of those high and low limits and your boiler will run smoothly, of course, when and only when it truly needs to.